99.7. My name is Yabanafo and I'm glad to be your host for today's edition of Masterclass. Masterclass is happy to be back on your radio in this year 2024 after a break in transmission in November last year. We're grateful for your feedback, the positive feedback that we received on all the topics we discussed last year, bringing you business knowledge pro bono to help your businesses to grow so that our country can grow and we can all become better for it. We continue in the line of conversations this year as well. And starting off this year, we want to look at the general conversation on human behavior in the workplace and how that affects our businesses. We talk about digitization and all the automation processes and all the theories, but we cannot do this without the human beings who work in the space. And so we want to look at the human behavior in the workplace and how that affects the businesses that we conduct, whether you're in manufacturing, whether you are in procurement, regardless of wherever you are, there are people working in that space and therefore their behavior on a day-to-day -day basis will affect your profitability, your success, your efficiency or otherwise. We're going to be looking at that conversation under the umbrella of the psychological safety at work or psychological safety in the workplace. Um, well, I was having this conversation with someone backstage and he said to me, he says, yeah, perception is a very strong thing. It's one of the things that happen under human behavior. And it's a reason why people sometimes do the things they do. And so they said to me, they said, perception can become reality for the one who perceives. So that if someone doesn't like you, it doesn't matter whether what they think of you is true or not. Until you do something to change that perspective, as far as they're concerned, you don't like them. And that's, that's period. That's how strong perception can be. Today we talk about psychological safety in the workplace. And like we always do here on Masterclass, we bring people of renown and people of endeavor in their own special fields to help us in this conversation. People who are professionals, if you like. And today we'll be talking to a certified emotional quotient EQ coach uh, and a CEO of Addison International. He'll be talking to us under the umbrella topic, Creating Psychological Safety at Work. He has one of those CVs. If I want to read it, we'll, we'll spend quite a bit of time. But I'm sure that if you stay tuned to us, by the time he's done talking to us today, you will understand why he's sharing some thoughts with us. My guest for this afternoon's conversation, Uncle James Addison. Uncle James, yeah. you're welcome to Joy Business Masterclass. Thank you very much. We're excited to be starting off the year with you Good. because we understand that regardless of whatever plans we have, whatever strategies we've put in place, whatever preparations we've made, if we do not get the human behavior right, mm. then the involvement of the human being in our endeavor will, be, will, will create an adverse effect mm. than otherwise. Mm. So today, talk to us. Good. What are we going to be discussing today under psychological safety at work, creating psychological safety at work, and how human behavior affects our businesses or otherwise? Thank you very much, and shout out to all your listeners. I'm sure they've waited for such a time to, uh, we are, to start. We have also the missed them, and we're happy to be back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and my shout out to Ayanam in uh, Canada watching us live. Right. And all my students, uh, the 10th the edition of the certification in emotional intelligence. Mm. Presbyterian University, all of them are on standby mm -hmm. because I did not teach this. I said they should listen to Joy Masterclass wow. for that wow. one. So wow. I'm happy to be around. Uh, thank you very much. And it's good that we've started with this. Yeah. Uh, when I was preparing for this, I said, wow, voice is needed at the workplace. Mm -hmm. Any workplace devoid of voice, uh, it's just a matter of time. It will go down and go down very quick. Because out of the voice comes creativity, comes the new ideas. And if we don't allow for some of these things, then it means we are just hanging around a company that is about to go down. Mm. So it's a very important topic. And I am very happy uh, to have looked at it because of some reasons. And I will share that quickly. So today, I'm going to look at what is psychological safety at work. Why has it gained popularity in recent times? And I'm also going to do something I call the three introductory scenarios. Mm -hmm. And these are the things I'm going to throw out for people to think around it. And when the phone in starts, mm -hmm. they share their ideas. Then we'll look at some signs that indicate that your organization is lacking uh, social, psychological safety at the workplace. Then right. we'll move into the importance, how it affects the bottom line. Then we'll draw some conclusions in that right before yeah. you continue though we're streaming live on facebook for those of our listeners who also want to watch us so by all means if you want to watch us live go to our facebook page and you'll be able to watch us uncle james please continue good now what is uh, psychological safety at the workplace this is the belief that one would not be punished or humiliated for speaking up one ideas two questions three concerns or even mistakes 